good morning students welcome to online class i hope you all are fine and safe by the grace of god till last week we learned geography lesson 3 india's agriculture is it i gave all the book exercises also did you learn students very good okay students first we will teach some selected lessons soonly we will get information from government for omitted portion after getting proper information from government we will teach the rest of the lesson okay today we are going to learn an interesting and easy topic before knowing about the topic let me ask you some general question okay very simple question listen here the first question is which is our country the first question is which is our country it is very easy question is yes, everyone know the answer our country is in india is it india is our country then the india is the second most populated country in the world after china india is the second most populated country in the world after china you may also know is it the first place is in china and the second populated country is in india it is our country is it then the second question do you know india's recent population you know is it 138.85 crores the india's recent population is 138.85 crores is it then the third question which mode helps us to move from one place to other place the third question which mode help helps us to move from one place to other place excellent the answer is transport is it the answer is transport how many ways of transport are there that mean how many means of transport there are three means of transport what are the three different means of transport very good land ways air ways water ways what are the three different means of transport land ways air ways water ways is it then the next question through which process we will exchange our information through which process we will exchange our information very good the answer is communication the answer is communication is it then the last question which word is mean for exchange of goods and services which word is mean for exchange of goods and services the answer is trade you everyone know the answer the answer is trade is it okay students now can you guess which topic we are going to learn very good now we are going to learn geography lesson 5 india population transport communication and trade okay now we are going to learn geography lesson 5 india population transport communication and trade okay listen here the study of human population is one of the most important aspects of geography is it the study of human population is one of the most important aspects of geography okay the population census of india provides the detailed information about the demography of india the population census of india provides the detailed information about the geography of india that means we are getting detailed information about demography from population of census that means we are getting detailed information about demography from population census okay along with population we will study about the transport communication and trade in this lesson along with population what are the topics now we are going to learn the tra transport communication and trade in this chapter okay okay student first of all we will uh, i am going to teach uh, population first of all we are going to learn about population okay what is mean by population the total number of people residing in a country at a specific period of time is called the population of that country what is mean by population 
the total number of people residing in a country at a specific period of time is called the population of that country. That means in a particular time calculating the number of people is called population. That means in a particular time calculating the number of people is called population. Okay. Then India is the second most populous country in the world. India is the second most populous country in the world after China. Already I explained is it. India is the second most populous country in the world after China. Okay. Then India covers 2.4 percentage of total area in the world. India covers 2.4 percentage of the total area in the world but it is in the home of 17.5 percentage of world population. India covers only 2.4 percentage of total area in the world but India is the home of 17.5 percentage of the world population. Okay, that means in the world, India cover 2.4 percentage of area, but it is the home of 17.5 percentage of world popula population. It shows that the proportion of population of India is far higher than the proportion of its area. What it shows? It shows that the proportion of population of India is far higher than the proportion of its area. Thus, a little more than one out of every six person in the world is from India. More than one out of every six person in the world is from India. Okay. And also, our population is almost equal to the population of USA, Indonesia, Brazil, Pakistan, Bangladesh and Japan. Our population is almost equal to the population of USA, Indonesia, Brazil, uh, Pakistan and Bangladesh. Okay. Then, uh, can you understand students? Shall we recall the points? Now, we learned about population. Is it? What is mean by population? The total number of people residing in a country at a specific period of time is called the population of that country. Okay. Then that means what is uh, the meaning of population? The total number of people residing in a country at a specific period of time is called the population of that country. Okay. India is the second most populous country in the world. Is it 2.4 area percentage of area only covered in the world but 17.5 percentage of areas world population is in India. Okay. Then the next one is census. The next one is census. Population census is the total process of collecting, compiling and analyzing at a specific time in all part of a country. Population census is the total process of collecting, compiling and analyzing at a specific time in all part of a country country okay it happens in 10 years once the population census will happen in 10 years once okay the the data collected through the census are used for administration planning policy making etc i will repeat the data collected that means it is used for the data collected through census is used for administration planning policy making etc okay then the next topic is distribution and density of population the next one is distribution and density of population okay the distribution of uh, population is in india are unequal because of the variation of resources because of the variation of resources the distribution of population in india are unequal that means in india all the areas won't get the uh, high amount of natural resources is it in some areas uh, very high natural resources in some areas very low natural resources okay because of this variation of resources the distribution of population in india are unequal okay then the population is mostly concentrated in the regions of industries uh, industrial areas and agricultural land 
the population is mostly concentrated in the areas of industrial centers and agricultural land that means the people like to settle in the areas of industrial centers and agricultural lands because if they settle that area they get good employment opportunity mostly the people like to settle in the areas of industrial centers and agricultural land because if they settle that area they get good employment opportunity okay and also in india some areas are thick forest areas is it that particular areas are very thinly populated that particular that means thick forest areas are very low populated areas and some areas are inhabited some, some areas are uninhabited okay that means there is no population some areas are uninhabited that means there is no population okay then some of the factors are affect some areas population some of the factors are affect some areas population the important factors are climate soil mineral resources water bodies industry transport urbanization etc these are the major factors affect some areas population of our country what are the factors affect the population of our country climate soil mineral resources water body industry transport and urbanization okay these are the major factors affect some of the areas population of our country okay in india uttar pradesh is the most populous state in india uttar pradesh is the most populous state followed by maharashtra bihar west bengal and andhra pradesh in india Uttar Pradesh is the most populous state followed by Maharashtra, Bihar, West Bengal and Andhra Pradesh. These five countries accounts half of the country's population. These five countries accounts half of the country's population. Which are the countries accounts half of the country's population? Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Bihar west bengal and andhra pradesh okay these five countries accounts half of the country's population okay then one fourth of the population live only in two states in the whole india one fourth of the population live only in two states they are uttar pradesh and maharashtra which are the states uttar pradesh and maharashtra one fourth of the people are living okay then sikkim is the least populous state in india sikkim is the least populous state in india among all union territories delhi is the top population in india among all union territories delhi is the top population in india can you understand students shall we recall the points now we learned about distribution and density of population is it distribution and density of population in india the distribution of population are unequal is it why because of variation of resources is it because of the variation of resources the distribution of population in india are unequal okay mostly the people are like to uh, settle in the areas of industrial centers and agricultural lands is it mostly the people are concentrated in the region of industrial centers and agricultural lands why the people like to settle that areas because they get good employment opportunity that particular area they get good employment opportunity okay and also some of the factors are affect the population of india in some areas the important factors are which are the important factors climate soil mineral resources water bodies industry transport and urbanization okay these are the major factors affect some areas population of our country then important one word question uh, uttar pradesh is the most populous state is it in india uttar pradesh is the most populous state which is the most populous state 
Uttar Pradesh. Okay. Followed by which are the states are very populated states? Maharashtra, Bihar, West Bengal and Andhra. Is it? These five countries accounts half of the country's population. Is it? Half of the country's population. Then and also Sikkim is the least uh, popular state. Is it? Which is the least popular state? Sikkim. Which is the least popular state? Sikkim. Okay. Among all union territories, which is the top popular, uh, population, population in India? Delhi. Delhi is the top population in India. Now, I hope you understood about that topic. Okay, students. The next topic is density of population. The next topic is density of population. What is mean by density? Density is the measure of understanding the variation in distribution of population. What is mean by density? Density is a measure of understanding the variation in distribution of population. This density expressed number of person per unit area per square kilometer. The density expressed number of person per unit area per square kilometer. That means according to 2011 census, the average density of population in India is 382 person per kilometer. According to 2011 census, the average density of population in India is 382 person per kilometer. Okay. Then India is one of the thickly pop populated nation in the world. India is one of the thickly populated nation in the world. In India, most densely populated state is Bihar. In India, the most densely populated state is Bihar. Okay. And also, uh, in India, the least population density is Arunachal Pradesh. In India, the least population density is Arunachal Pradesh. Okay. Among the union territories, Delhi is the densely populated one. Among the union territories, Delhi is the densely populated one. And Andaman and Nicobar is the lowest density population. That means least density population. Andaman and Nicobar is the least populated uh, areas. In India, the first census was conducted in the year 1872. In India, the first census was conducted in the year 1872. But in the first complete and uh, synchronous census was conducted in the year 1881. Synchronous means existing. Okay. The first complete and existing census was conducted in the year 1881. Then 2011 census represent the 15th census of India. 2011 census represent the 15th census of India. Can you understand students? Shall we recall the points? Now we learned about density of population. Is it? What is mean by density? Very good. Density is a measure of understanding the variation in distribution of population. Density is a measure of understanding the variation in distribution of population. It expressed number of person per unit area per square kilometer. Is it? Then that means according to 2011 census, the average density of population in India is 382 person per kilometer. According to 2011 census, the average density of population in India is 382 person per kilometer. Okay. Then India is one of the thickly populated nation in the world. Is it? Which is the thickly populated nation in the world? India. India is the thickly populated nation in the world. And also in India, the most densely populated state is Bihar. In which is the most densely populated state in India? Bihar is the most densely populated state in India. Then which is the least population density in India? Which is the least population density state in India? Very good. Arunachal Pradesh. Is it? Arunachal Pradesh is the least population density in India. Okay. Then next question. Among the union territories, which is the densely populated one? Delhi. 
Delhi is the densely populated one among the union territories. Okay. Then among the union territories, which is the lowest density of population? That means which is the least density of population? Andaman and Nicobar Island. Okay. Andaman and Nicobar Island. Then in India, uh, first census was conducted in which year? 1872 but in the complete census was conducted in the year 1881 okay 1882 they started but the complete census was conducted in the year 1881 okay then 2011 census represent the 15th census of india 2011 census is the last census the next census is in 2021 okay already i told 10 years once they will um, uh, take the census okay so 2011 census is the last census uh, the next census will come in 2021 it represent the 15th census of india one word question very important here some questions i explain you will listen very careful okay then uh, the next topic is population growth and change the next topic is population growth and change first one population growth okay the growth rate of population is an important demographic feature the growth rate of population is an important demographic feature then population growth means an increase in the number of people reside in the country state or city what is meant by population growth population growth means an increase in the number of people reside in the country state or city the population will grow per year by year the population will grow per year by year okay the following are the different stages of population growth of india now i am going to explain some of the stages of population growth in india there are four stages of population growth of india the first one is the period of stagnant population the first one is the period of stagnant population in the period is 1901 to 1921 the period is 1901 to 1921 then the second one is the period of steady growth the second one is the period of steady growth that period is 1921 to 1950 the period is 1921 to 1950 okay then the third one is the period of steady growth in the period of 1951 to 1981 the third one is the period of steady growth the year is 1951 to 1981 okay then the fourth one is the period of high growth with slowing down the period of high growth with slowing down the period is 1981 to 2011 the period is 1981 to 2011 okay now listen here i will explain one by one the first stage is the period of stagnant population is it which is the first first stage the first stage is period of uh, stagnant population the period is 1901 to 1921 is it uh, during this period 20 years the population is grew by 15 million during this 20 years the population is grew by 15 million okay then the second heading is second stage is the period of steady growth in the year 1921 to 1950 the period of steady growth in the year 1921 to 1950 okay during the second stage the population is grew by 110 million the duration is 30 years during this 30 years the population is grew by 110 million okay then the third one is the period of steady growth the third one is the period of steady growth in the year 1951 to 1981 for the period of 1951 to 1981 during the third stage the population of india grew from 361 million to 683 million during this period the population grew from 361 million to 683 million this period is referred to population explosion this period is referred to population explosion okay then the fourth one is 
the period of high growth with slowing down the fourth one is the period of high growth with slowing down in the period is 1981 to 2011 during 1981 to 2011 during this period the population is increased from 685 million to 1210 million during this period the population is increased from 685 million to 100 1210 million okay can you understand students now we will learn about population growth this is it what is mean by population growth population growth means an increase in the number of people reside in the country state or city is it what is mean by population growth very good population growth means an increase in the number of people reside in the country state or city okay then uh, some of the stages uh, mentioned the population uh, growing of population <coughs> there are four stages are there the first one is the period of stagnant population the first one is the period of stagnant population the second one is Uh, the period of uh, steady growth during the year 1921 to 1950 then the third one is period of steady growth during the period of 1951 to 1981 okay then the last one is the period of high growth with slowing uh, down for the period of 1981 to 2011 okay during this period how much census is uh, growing these all things we learn now is it then the next topic is population change the next topic is population change it refers an increase or decrease of population of an area from one period to another period it refers an increase or decrease of population of an area from one period to another period on the basis of birth rate death rate and migration the population will change on the basis of birth rate death rate and migration the population will change okay what is mean by birth rate birth rate refers to the number of new births per 1000 people per year what is mean by birth rate birth rate refers to the number of new births per 1000 thousand people per year then what is mean by death rate death rate refers to number of deaths per thousand people in a year what is mean by death rate death rate refers to number of deaths per thousand people in a year okay then what is mean by migration migration refers to the people move from one place to another migration refers to the people move from one place to another can you understand students shall we recall about population change population change is refers to an increase or decrease of population of an area from one period to another period is it it refers to an increase or decrease of population of an area from one period to another period okay on the basis of birth rate death rate and migration the population will change how the population will change on the basis of birth rate death rate and migration what is meant by birth rate birth rate refers to the number of new births per 1000 people per year birth rate refers to the number of live births per 1000 people per year then what is mean by death rate death rate refers to number of deaths per 1000 people in a year death rate refers to number of deaths per 1000 people in a year what is mean by migration migration refers to the people move from one place to another place can you understand students the continuation of this lesson i will teach the next class okay now all are take your book Ala take your book you will take the book exercise Ala take your book you will take the book exercise in the book exercise distribution and uh, distinguish between roman number 4 book exercise roman number 4 distinguish between 
Roman number 4. Distinct is between first question. Okay. Distinct is page number 199. Page number 199. Distinct is between first question. Page number 199. Distinct is between first question. Density of population and growth of population. The question is density of population and growth of population. Answer is density population. You put the tabular column. You will put the tabular column. Density population and growth of population. You will divide the two parts. First density population sites. First point. It is expressed as it is expressed as number of persons per unit area usually per square kilometer. It is expressed as it is expressed as number of persons per unit area usually per square kilometer. Okay, then the opposite side that means the growth of population side. Population growth refers to the Change in the number of population growth refers to the change in the number of inhabitants of a country, inhabitants of a country or territory, inhabitants of a country or territory during a specified period of time, during a specified period of time. Then the second point, density of population side. Population density is the population density is the better measure of population density is the better measure of understanding the variation in understanding the variation in distribution of population. Population density is the better measure of understanding the variation in distribution of population. Then growth of population side. The growth of population is expressed in percentage and it is, uh, it is described as the growth rate of population. The growth of population is the growth of population is expressed in percentage and is described as the growth, uh, growth rate of population. Okay. Then the third point density of population side. The third point, the population distribution is, the population distribution is mostly affected by, mostly affected by factors like, the population distribution is mostly affected by factors like terrain, T-E-R-R-A-I-N, okay, terrain, soil, climate, water bodies, mineral resources, industries, Transport and urbanization, terrain, soil, climate, water bodies, mineral resources, industries, transport and urbanization. Then the opposite side that means growth of population side. Population growth is, population growth is influenced by the, population growth is influenced by the birth rate death rate and migration population growth is influenced by the birth rate death rate and migration did you write students okay then some book inside question i am going to give book page number 186 book page number 186 population heading 186 population heading you form the question, define population or what is population, what is meant by population. You form the question, define population or what is meant by population. You mark population heading, the first line, the first line from third line, from first line to third line. The answer is, the total number of people, the total number of people residing in a country at a specified period of time is called the population of that country. The total number of people residing in a country at a specified period of time is called population of that country. Okay. Then, next question. Page number 187. Page number 187. Uh, that population growth and change heading. 
லாஸ்ட் பேராகிராஃப் செகண்ட் பேராகிராஃப் செகண்ட் பேராகிராஃப் டிஃபைன் பர்த் ரைட் இஃப் ஆன் த கொஸ்டின் டிஃபைன் பர்த் ரைட் டிஃபைன் பர்த் ரைட் ரைட் த கொஸ்டின் டிஃபைன் பர்த் ரைட் ஆன்சர் இஸ் பர்த் ரைட் ரெஃபர்ஸ் டு த நம்பர் ஆஃப் லீவ் பர்த்ஸ் பெர் தௌசண்ட் பீப்பிள் இன் ஏ இயர் பர்த் ரேட் ரெஃபர்ஸ் டு த நம்பர் ஆஃப் லைவ் பர்ஸ் பெர் தௌசண்ட் பீப்பிள் இன் ஏ இயர் த சேம் பேராகிராஃப் யூ ஃபார்ம் ஒன் மோர் கொஷின் டிஃபைன் டெத் ரேட் யூ ஃபார்ம் ஒன் மோர் கொஷின் டிஃபைன் டெத் ரேட் டெத் ரேட் ரெஃபர்ஸ் டு த நம்பர் ஆஃப் டெத்ஸ் பெர் தௌசண்ட் பீப்பிள் இன் ஏ இயர் டெத் ரேட் ரெஃபர்ஸ் டு த நம்பர் ஆஃப் டெத்ஸ் பெர் தௌசண்ட் பீப்பிள் இன் ஏ இயர் ஒன் மோர் கொஷின் யூ வில் மார்க் population growth and change uh, this uh, para, uh, heading first para population change define uh, what is mean by population change question what is mean by population change population change population change refers to an increase to decrease of population of an area from one period to another period one more question also you will mark in your book page number 187 page number 187 population growth and change heading see your book population growth and changes heading population change refers to an increase or decrease of population to an area from one period to another period from there some one word questions are there um, in the book uh, page number 186 you see the book all are see the book page number 186 one bob blue color box is there is it from there three questions are there the first census was carried out in the year the first census was carried out in the year 1872 underline it underline it then the second one where uh, the first complete and single uh, synchronous census the first complete and synchronous census was conducted in the year 1881 okay the next one where 2011 census is represent the 15th census of india 2011 census is represent the 15th census of india you mark it then page number 187 second paragraph there one bad question is there second paragraph uttar pradesh is the most populous state you underline it you underline it Uttar Pradesh is the most popular state. Which is the most popular state? Book and side question. Okay, Uttar Pradesh. Then the same paragraph last before third line. Sikkim is the least popular state. You underline it. Sikkim is the least popular state. Sikkim is the least popular state. Okay, which is the least popular state? Sikkim. Okay, in the same uh, line. Delhi. Uh, with 16.75 million population tops among the union territories delhi is the top among the union territories delhi is the underline it delhi is the top among the union territories okay then the same uh, page density population heading density population heading there fourth line india is one of the most thickly populated 10 countries of the world underline it India is one of the most thickly populated 10 countries of the world underline it then the next sentence also one question is there most densely populated state of india is bihar underline it the most densely populated state of india is bihar underline it in the second next line the least population density is arunachal pradesh underline it the least population density uh, is arunachal pradesh underline it then uh, next line among the union territories delhi is the densely populated one among the union territories delhi is the densely populated one then the next line andaman and nicobar island have the lowest density of population andaman and nicobar islands have the lowest density of population these these are the important book inside convert questions okay okay students you listen uh, learn these all questions we will meet the next class thank you students